go. My Rebbe once got a phone call during the week of Shema Brachos from a distraught Kala. Now, you can imagine what goes through a Rub's mind when he gets such a phone call, thinking about all the different possibilities of what's going on. The Kala said she can't take it. When, she, when the Rebbe heard that, he was wondering, like, what could it be already? They're only married a couple of days. And then she told him the, the issue. What was the issue? The issue was that he squeezes the toothpaste the wrong way. After getting past the silliness of the concern, maybe it's a silliness to, to, the, to the Rav, but to the person calling it obviously wasn't a silliness, uh, the Rav started thinking of how he was going to deal with, the, with this question. The Rav explained the, to, to the Kala that in this week's Parsha, Parsha's Tazria, there are two psukim that, that take place one after the other. In reference to the nega, the nega tara, taras, the, what's translated as leprosy, but uh, we'll see what, what the actual translation will be. The first passage says, Vera koin es anega, that the Kohen has to look at the blemish and, and uh, make a decision. But the next pasuk tells us, the pasuk starts vira ahu akoin. The coin has to look at the person as an individual. The Meshachachma, the famed of Meir Simcha of the Vinsk, explains on these psukim that this teaches us that there's a two-step process in analyzing this nega, this blemish. The first part of the neg- of the analysis is vira hakoin as nega. You have to look at the, this blemish independent of anything else. Now, in the uh, greater scheme of things, for someone who's uh, a neat freak, um, squeezing the toothpaste the wrong way and coming to, to the bathroom and seeing that the, that the toothpaste is, at, is out of shape can be very bothersome. But on the other hand, the Torah continues in the next Pasuk and tells us, the, the Kohen has to now look at the entire person. Obviously, if they have just recently gotten married, um, this, this Kala found a lot of good things in her chasen. We hope he's a ben Torah, he's a yari shamayim, he's a good sense of humor, he's very careful with, her, with the way he speaks, and many, many other things that he might have found in her, and hopefully vice versa, that the husband found in the Kala as well. But at the same time, the Kala has to look at this nega, this blemish of squeezing the toothpaste the wrong way, uh, the Procter & Gamble company is quite familiar with this issue when many years ago they created the neat squeeze and the toothpaste to avoid this problem. But on a more serious note, the woman has to look, let's take a look at this blemish independent of everything else. So it's very bothersome to her, it's very disconcerting to her, to the extent that she's calling the Rav to say that she can't take it anymore. At the same time, the Torah, as the Meshachachma explains in the next Pasuk, comes to us and tells us that there's a second step in the process. What's the second step in the process? The second step in the process is that he's required to now look at the entire person. Obviously, by looking at the entire person, when measured against all the positive attributes that she found in, this, in her husband, in her new husband, Will, will serve as a, a guide to see where it balances against all the, all the, the, good, the good attributes, where they balance against all of the, the negativity coming from the squeezing of the toothpaste. But this is not just an instruction to the Kala who was very distraught. This is an instruction to all of us in life that sometimes we see people who have that nega, that blemish that bothers us a lot. The challenge in life is for us to vera'ua koin, to look at the entire person and find the milos, find the, the good in a person, and follow what, what Chazal tells us in Perkei Avos, have a done as kol ha'adam l'kav s'chos, that we should judge all of the person favorably, not just look at one independent blemish, but look at the entire person, and, and hope that HaKadosh Baruch Hu will look at us entirely and, and judge us favorably as well.